I have. I have endorsed um, City Council at large, Diana Pressy, during the primary, right? Yes, that's right? And so I am happy to stand with her because she's been working on issues that impact all of our communities. Um, yes, she's gone through a litany of issues that she's focused on in terms of women and girls and our families, but it is the holistic approach I think is important. And that's what Ayana has been able to do as a city council at large, being the voice for our families and our children and making sure that the issues that impact them are really brought to the forefront. But one thing we know is that and I'm happy you said this because the women's issues, mm -hmm. it's everyone's issues, right? right? The issue about abuse, it's everyone's issue. So when she talks about, you know, strengthening families, strengthening um, women concerns, that is everyone's issue because we know in the city of Boston, a large number of our households is run by women, right? They are the head of households yes. here in the city of 39%. Boston. And, and if we, yeah, what is it? 39 percent. Our female okay, headed. Our female headed households. So that is important. When we talk about small businesses, I want people to know that Councilor Ayanna Presley has been helping me at the forefront working with our small businesses here in our Commonwealth. I was the chair of community development and small business when I was a state rep. Now I'm a state senator. We worked hand in hand to listen to the issues that are impacting small businesses. We know there is a large percentage of our small businesses here in, in Boston um, are, are really run by women. That's and right. so we're making sure that the resources are there, that people know the resources that are available to help them expand and to thrive and grow. But I am just here, happy to stand here with Ayana um, to let people know that on Tuesday, November 5th, we need folks to come out and vote. Yes, there are four vote. seats for City Council at Large. We know that Councilor Ayana Presti, people recognize the work that she's been doing for the last several years. She taught the ticket, but you know, there's a second round. And we want people to know that it's not over, right? Some people may think, oh wow, she taught the mm -hmm. ticket. Maybe I don't have to come out. No, we need everybody to come out on November 5th. It is critical because that is how we're going to get Ayana back on the council continuing to do the work that she's been doing for the last several years. Um, she has been an important voice. And yes, there's eight other people running for the yes. four seats. Just but participate. I want people I mean, just participate. Yeah, That's right. Absolutely. We want people to participate, we just want no you doubt. To just show That's right. up. Okay. Yeah. But we also want you to win. Thank you. I mean, so, yeah, participation's critical. We want you to show up, but I just want you to give one of your votes, one of your votes, right? It's one of four. One of your votes, this Ryana. This is my sister. Um, this is, I, call her, I call her my sister in service and in stilettos, right? I know, right? You're right, you're right. <laughs> but I would also just say, um, in speaking about um, what the senator works uh, so diligently on, uh, and, uh, in her former role as a representative and chair uh, of the small business uh, committee and what she does now as a state senator and in partnership with me we're really just talking about ensuring that there is an equity and opportunity that's right we will never be able to address these disparities in um, education and in health if we don't first address the disparities in our economics Absolutely. so for as long as we have wealth inequities you know then we're going to have inequities in education and we're going to have health inequities so what we're working on right now is how do we build wealth to ensure that every neighborhood is thriving we have some neighborhoods that are thriving and that are generating wealth, but success that isn't shared is not success. It isn't success at all. And so she's been also supportive of my move to see more restaurants created. We know so many immigrant families, you know, as they're looking to sort of achieve the American, the American dream, dream and get on a pathway course. to self-sufficiency, um, they do want to own businesses. And we want people to have an equity and enterprise opportunity so that they can build wealth and create jobs. Yes, <laughs> independence, the, the Independence Day Gala, the flag raising, flag raising. The well, I mean, again, we live in an amazing, thriving, diverse city, right? Boston is an amazing place. Ayana understands that, right? So she is present in the Haitian events, Haitian community, listening to the concerns that the community brings forward. And I think that's the kind of leader we need, someone who understands. Not, not, not uh, doing the campaign. But no, no, that's right, all the time. Not just during the campaign running. You're absolutely right. But all the time showing up. And that is important. And I think, you know, the final piece, as Councilor Presley mentioned, this is about economic equality. How do we make sure that every Bostonian that lives here has a chance to move up and out of poverty? That's that right. is critical. I mean, here it is, we celebrated the 50th anniversary on the March on Washington, right? Just two months ago. Same and, you know, it was about job yes, access. Yes. It was economic equality. Yes, it was all of us coming together, and we have a diverse city here in yes. Boston, and we all work together, both ethnically, culturally, doesn't matter, we're in it together, but it's about that.
that. It's about access to jobs. It's about supporting businesses that are owned by women and people of color and making sure they have a fighting chance. And that's what Council Ayanna Presley has been doing. Look forward to continue working with her in her capacity. But I need the people to come out. So community So she's in it for all of Boston. Mm -hmm. So Monday, we're all for you. We're all for you. We're all for you.